Hello and welcome to PreCentral.net's coverage of the Palm Pre. In this video, we are showing you uh, setup activation and a little bit about gestures. So when you first turn the Pre on, the first thing that it does is uh, ask you to choose a language, and we're choosing English. You can also choose Espanol, and it will set up the phone to work in that language, and so you can see it is working on doing that now. Once it's done, it tells you the phone has been activated. Uh, presumably this will happen for you in a Sprint store, so they're going to do this step for you and make sure it gets activated properly. But you'll click next and you're going to get a uh, thing asking you to choose their terms and conditions. Do you accept them? And you always do. And now next you're going to ask to, ask to set up a Palm profile. Now the Palm profile is uh, pretty much essential for operation of the pre. It lets you back up your files to their servers. It lets you also remotely wipe from their profile. It also gives you access to uh, device updates, uh, application store updates, and the application catalog in the first place. Uh, which you would find out if you tapped the tell me more button, which will do. And there you go. Update phone software, backup and restore personal data, and remote wipe. So you pretty much need to set up a Palm profile in order to get the pre to work properly. So we are going to do that. Of course, we're going to create a new profile. And they're going to want you to enter a first and last name. So we will do that as well. We'll just call ourselves, what the heck, precentral.net. That's a good name for us. And we'll tap next, and they're going to ask for a password, and we will go off screen for that fun. And we'll tap next, and let's see what we have coming up next. It's going to ask us for an email address to associate with this account. So we will, uh, well, what the heck, we're going to give it my email address. You can all know that. You should know it. It's Dieter at precentral.net. Hit the alt accidentally there. And we'll tap next. And so it is creating our Palm profile. And uh, that is good. That makes us happy. You can see I've got, don't have much of an Evdo signal strength there. All right, so our Palm profile has been created. It shot us a verification email. In fact, I just heard it arrive already. So that was nice and lickety split. Next, they're going to uh, show you in the email how you get all your data on there. We're gonna show you that ourselves here. Next, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of stuff about location services. Um, you know, you telling you, warning you what location services are. It works with GPS and tower location, a GPS. And so the first thing is uh, you need in order for Google Maps to work properly to accept Google's location services terms of service. So we'll say yes to that. And then next you're given an option for auto locate. Now the pre always knows where you are. And so you can enable auto locate to tell any application where you are whenever without it asking, or you can say, ask me each time so that each application needs to ask for your explicit permission in order to get your location. Uh, we live on the edge, so we're gonna go with auto locate. And now we are going to get uh, some stuff about the pre and how gestures work. So let's walk you through this little gesture guide here because this is actually uh, pretty important. Without this, you, uh, you're kind of lost if you've never seen a pre before. So the first thing they want to explain to you is the back gesture. And it's an area in the screen below your phone. And take a close look at what just lit up there. It really works better if you use the area in between the center button and the screen. You can do it right next to the center button, but uh, you get a much better response if you do it between the center button and the screen. And so they're showing you there in the video. And so we'll go ahead and try it. Yay, we got it. We'll try it again over here on the right side. It works just the same. You can do it on the right or the left. And uh, okay, it's time to move on. Now they're going to show you how to uh, use the back gesture inside an application. So we're in the Photos app here. So we'll tap on Vacations, and there's a picture of a whatever that is, marmot. I don't know. And you can use the back gesture to uh, to go back to the thumbnail screen from here, and then the back gesture again to take you back to your albums, and so on. You can tap open up another album. So this back gesture is really important. You're going to need to use it a lot to get in between cards when you're inside a card to go in between different screens on a card and then you use different gestures to go back to cards. And so there you go. We've learned the back gesture. Hooray and huzzah. So we will move on and they're going to show us more later. Yeehaw. The phone's going to restart but before it does it's got a cute little introduction video. So let's cut to that shall we? Cute little video here. You can see they're uh, using the sun here to, to show you the different gestures. Hit the center button to go to card view. You can flip between cards. You can tap on links. You can bring up your quick wave to get your quick applications. You can scroll around with it. You can go up to card view again and then you can get rid of cards. 
And uh, those are your basic gestures. And our little touch indicator goes flying through the sky, becomes the sun. Welcome to your new palm tree. And then they tell you to go to your phone's icon to learn more. Video is finished. And now the phone is going to reboot. So we'll come back to this in just a moment after the phone is rebooted. Okay, so a minute and a half later, the phone is rebooted, and uh, what we've got here is the lock screen. And it's actually a really nice screen. It can show notifications if you'd like, uh, right above that lock icon, if you've got that turned on. And to unlock it, it's sort of like the iPhone, but a little bit better. You just grab that icon, and you just drag it outside the area, anywhere you want, left, right, center. And uh, so it's easy to use with either hand, if you're left-handed or right-handed. And let's go through some of the uh, basic gestures here. Uh, if you're on the screen with nothing but the wallpaper, your up gesture is going to bring up your launcher. You can also tap that little icon in the lower right to bring up your launcher, of course. If you swipe halfway, you get your quick launch wave, which is those four icons, which are, of course, customizable. And then you can flick left and right between your launcher screens. There are only three screens, and that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but that's, uh, that's the way it is. And uh, so now you want to set up Synergy. There's no Synergy app. You just open up one of your PIM apps. And so we just opened it Contacts here. And you can set a Google, Facebook, or Microsoft Exchange account. We're going to set up a Google account. And it's going to want us to uh, enter that information in. So we're going to do that off screen naturally. And there you go. It has added an account. You get a chance to add more accounts if you want. Or you can just click Done. And you can see down there in the notifications area, we had a notification pop up. And you can tap that and see that it is syncing it. It's not just syncing contacts, but it's also syncing calendar and email. So that's a very, very slick. And we can even open up contacts. And you can see it started to pull down some of my fake contacts that I pulled up. And there's also a couple of sprint contacts there as well, which is pretty cool. So there it sucked down some more, and it's continuing to do that. We can go up into card view with the full swipe. If you're in card view and you do the full swipe, it doesn't bring up the launcher. It brings up the cards. It's identical to the functionality of hitting that center button, uh, which is interesting. And then if you're in that uh, minimized card view, you can bring up the launcher. And no matter where you are, you can always bring up the quick wave to get to your launcher or to your other shortcut icons. So uh, once you get the gestures, they're very intuitive and very cool. But you do kind of need to learn those basic gestures before you can get going. So let's open up Calendar here, and you can see it's already added, as I mentioned, our, uh, our one Google account. And of course, you get an option to add more if you'd like. And uh, if you're in, if you want to add an account later and you don't get the screen, you can always get it by tapping the menu in the, uh, the upper left-hand corner. And to get rid of cards, as you can see, you go into Card View and you just swipe them up, and that closes them and they go away. So it's a very intuitive way to multitask. And again, I just need to point out that in this launcher, although you can fit an infinite number of icons on screen one or screen two, you cannot, however, set categories, and there's only these three screens. Uh, you can move icons around, though. You just hold your finger down and drag it around, and you can place it. But basically, when you start getting a lot of apps on this thing, you're going to want to use universal search to type to find them rather than hunting around on your screen. And there's plenty of options. We're going to go into these in much greater depth in our, our full video, just you know, point out a couple more things related to gestures. You can turn on one gesture that's not on by default, which is switch applications, which takes your gesture area in the bottom. And if you do, instead of a half swipe, a full swipe, it will swipe between cards that are next to each other. And that's a really convenient, quick way to switch between uh, applications rather than going into card view and switch them. And I will close that card out. And let's see what else we got here. Well, one more basic thing I want to show you about the functionality. Uh, if you go into device info, you can get some basic info on the phone. And the reason I'm pointing this out is the other sort of basic thing you need to know about the phone is uh, reset options. Not a great idea to just take the battery out. So you've got three reset options. Restart just uh, resets the phone. A partial erase is going to erase all of your personal data but leave your music files and the, the similar things, pictures on the 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 card, not the card, but the storage, the 8 gigs of storage. And then a full erase erases literally everything on the phone. And then you're given an opportunity to uh, restore that with your Palm Profile if you uh, come back to it. There you go. We're going to have a lot more on precentral.net, so stay tuned.